Hey, I'm Diana Taurasi from the Phoenix Mercury, and you're listening to the Three Point Conversion Radio. I'm so the Three Point Conversion. Great to see you as always. Welcome back. Thank as you. you. As you embark on a new season, of course, the roster changes. Um, now you bring in Kia Nurse. As a defensive player, and you've been you've known for your defense, now you have another person you have to guard in practice that's an all-star. What have you taken from now playing with Diana and Skylar the last two years and now with Kia coming in? What have you learned from her in the first couple of days of training camp? Yeah, I think my perspective um, for everybody is just for me personally to get better every single day. Um, it's easy to get kind of caught up in, in different things, but if, if I'm focused on myself, um, giving 110% every possession, uh, then I'm going to end up where I'm supposed to be. But uh, she's a phenomenal player. We have great players in our, on our team this year, and uh, it's going to be real fun to, you know, play alongside of them. When you walk to the door for training camp this year, it's a little bit different than last year. Last year was the wobble. This year is you're actually in Phoenix. What was What has training camp last year or last season taught you about yourself as a player going into a season where you're actually in Phoenix this year? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I got COVID and so I was actually in quarantine for like 32 days. And so uh, I was prepared for the season that I got stuck doing nothing for a month and then I just had to jump in and play. Uh, and so my mindset is just different. I didn't go overseas and play this year because of COVID and the pandemic. Uh, and so I'm refreshed. I miss basketball. I was in the gym all summer working on my game. And so uh, I feel like I'm back. I'm in a really good headspace. I'm, I'm stronger and, you know, I'm just, um, ready to own whatever role is thrown my way, but we're ready to win a championship here. We're, we're tired of messing around. And I think our mindsets, uh, everyone's mindset's really good. You said you, you spoke on speaking on COVID. First off, how are you feeling from COVID? And um, what were some of the things that, because you've, I've heard some players like Jason Tam are still experiencing some of the, the fatigue. Are you still feeling it? And how are you feeling from COVID? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually having some, Issues because I have COVID twice, and so it's just something I have to deal with. This might be my new normal, uh, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to make any excuses. Everyone's pretty much had COVID, some uh, worse than others, uh, but I'm right there with Jason. I'm not, I, I do feel uh, different, my lungs, my heart, um, just the way things are working. Uh, but like I just said, it's my new normal, and no excuses. you got to get it done one way or another. Speaking of get it done, has coach, uh, coach, the coaching staff told you what your role is going to be for the upcoming year? Um, are you going to be playing more of the three or the four, or are they going to have you all across the board this year? Yeah, no, um, no, we haven't even had that discussion yet. I think my biggest thing is um, to be aggressive, shoot the ball, uh, drive, but also get the ball to our star players. Diana has to have the ball in their hands along with Skylar, BG, and Kia. And so, uh, like I said, I'm going to do the dirty work, give them the ball when they need it, but I'm also focused on myself and, and uh, going to be aggressive this year and do my part. Speaking of things you worked on, what's the number one thing? As soon as that season, that, that, that last buzzer sounded, what was the first thing you wanted to work on to get better? And what will Phoenix fans see differently this year than they did see you in the bubble? Yeah, um, I think just my pace. It's, uh, you know, I'm on year three now, so I'm starting to get the pace of the game. I'm starting to get into the system a lot more and feel comfortable. Uh, and it's starting to slow down a little bit, which makes a huge difference. I mean, there's a jump from high school to college, college to professional and it just takes a little bit of time to, to get there. And so uh, my main focus is, of course, knocking down shots and just the, uh, my pace of the game. And you say you didn't speak, you didn't play internationally this year. Did you have a chance to talk to any of your teammates during the offseason? I know you had the bouts with COVID, but were you speaking with the coaching staff and your teammates throughout the offseason? Oh, yeah. I mean, we all keep in touch. We're a big family over here. And so it's real fun to see them being, uh, being successful overseas. Uh, but it might be fun. I mean, we're all trying to play together overseas so we can kind of keep that chemistry going. Uh, but everyone's killing it. It's really fun to celebrate your teammates. And finally, as we get started for the preseason, the first game back in Phoenix, what are your, what are your thoughts are going to be the second you put that jersey on and you actually can walk back into seeing the X Factor after being away for almost two years? Yeah, I think it's time to get, get it done. Like, it's time to win some games, to, to get down and dirty, get gritty. Uh, and win some ball games. And I think with X Factor, we're excited to have them back. They're rowdy. They're just as rowdy as we are. And so it's going to be a, a, a fun environment to actually have people in the stands again. Sophie, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.